personality, yet a steady temperament. What am I talking about? Well, in a few moments' time, I'll let you know. But first, let's see what the rest of the gang's up to. Jess discovers the science of mucking around. One, two, three. Oh, whoa. <laughs> now, that you made that look really that, easy. That was easy. <laughs> Kylie sniffs out some very smelly culprits. Cars and factories aren't the only things that are contributing to global warming. And we get strapped in for a daredevil of a ride. I'm the wing walker for Eddie Andrini, and we're going to do some wild and amazing stuff here on the Super Steerman. I'm talking about Irish Terriers, the oldest terrier breed native to Ireland. And guess what? They used to be called Irish Red Terriers. No wonder. Just look at their coat. Erica, what do you look for in an Irish Terrier? Because I believe you've been uh, breeding them for about 30 years now. <laughs> Confirmation, their build. Um, they're a moderate dog, but um, mainly the personality. Is that a they're big part? Or? A huge part, because um, the bulk of the, the dogs go towards family-orientated homes and things, so they've got to be stable and they've got to be solid. And who's this little girl here? Because she's got a great temperament. Yes. <laughs> she's Australian champion, Rosemary Ginger. And uh, yes, she is. She's a very special little girl. What are they known for? Uh, they were originally bred as hunters. Small game, vermin, um, back in the Irish days. Like These are one of the oldest Irish breeds, 1890 sort of thing. And they were bred for the small holders with the potato farmers. Um, they, had, they had a job to do. Sure. Family protection, hunting, the works. And now they like to chase bags. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Amongst other things, yes. Absolutely. Jono, what are these dogs like at home? Oh, they're very playful. There's never a dull moment at home. They're just so crazy. <laughs> <laughs> mentioned before, one of the Irish Terrier's favourite pastimes is lure coursing. And today we're at an actual event, so make sure you stay with us because when we come back, we'll be checking out what it's all about. Welcome back to this very exciting event. It's called lure coursing. So you ready? Go, Justin! What's lure coursing all about? Lure coursing is a safe way for dogs to exercise. It replaces live coursing, and the dogs here chase a plastic bag around a course. And it's all fenced in too, isn't it? Yes, it's fully fenced, so it's very safe, and the dogs don't run with other dogs that they don't know. <laughs> Obedience goes out the door a little bit, doesn't it? It does indeed. They're more interested in the noise of the motorbike and the bags. <laughs> Tell me about the course itself. Well, this one today is a 500-metre course, and there are bends in it, so it re represents a rabbit running around the course. And of course, we're using plastic bags. It's all safe, animal safe. That's correct, <laughs> yes. Now don't go anywhere because things are only just starting to heat up because when we come back we'll be finding out what the judges are looking for in a winner so stay tuned. Just joined us. Today we're racing Irish Terriers at an event called Lure Coursing. The lure itself today is a plastic bag and the course runs about 500 metres. Now the bag as you can see is attached to a rope and is motorised by a motorbike over there and it can reach up to speeds of 50 kilometres per hour. So as you can imagine, the dogs will be getting a great workout. Let's see how they're going. about some of the factors you consider while judging the event because I'd imagine it'd be pretty hard. Yes it can be. The dogs are judged individually not against other dogs that are running and they're judged on five criteria. There's speed, agility, endurance, enthusiasm and follow. So each of those are scored and the criteria will, well the whole score will be a hundred points so it's out of a hundred. And things such as follow, the small dogs will follow very closely on the lure. The larger dogs will go wide, but as long as they're still watching the lure and following around, they don't get scored down. And speed is depending upon the breed. Fast dogs, you expect them to be fast. The slower dogs, it's how well they show.
But sometimes it doesn't always go according to plan. But hey, at the end of the day, this sport is all about good doggy fun. Okay, guys, how did you go today? Great, it was yeah. wonderful. <laughs> Jono, how about you? Oh, Squire did awesome. He got a um, 87 out of 100. Oh, that's fantastic. So he won? Yeah. <laughs> well, unfortunately, that's the end of the competition. And unfortunately, it's the end of today's show. Thanks for joining us today. And we'll see you soon for another TW Adventure. See ya. There are only three episodes left for Scooter. In the next...